Years before the Omnic Crisis and the establishment of Overwatch, mankind had a renewed interest in space exploration. As a first step, they established the Horizon Lunar Colony on the Moon, whose residents included scientists as well as a group of genetically enhanced gorillas meant to test the effects of prolonged habitation in space. Among the gorillas was infant ID number R3991N. R3991N showed such rapid brain development from his genetic enhancements that he was taken in by Dr. Harold Winston to learn science and help with the scientists' experiments. In their time together, Dr. Winston treated the young gorilla as if he were his own son, and often told him stories of the great things mankind was capable of, and the beauty of their home world. But that time spent dreaming did not last forever. One day, the gorillas rebelled against their human caretakers and took control of Horizon. They slaughtered all the humans in the facility, robbing R3991N of his beloved father figure with his only memento of him being a pair of glasses. Unwilling to stand alongside the murderers who've allowed their inner beast to take over, the young gorilla took on Dr. Winston's name and built his own spaceship to escape to Earth, where he found his new home. Overwatch. With his genius and natural capabilities, Winston became one of the organization's best agents. When his friend Lena Oxton became disassociated with time, Winston was the one to build her chronal accelerator to anchor her to the present, allowing her to become who we know as Tracer. In one battle, he defeated a villainous incarnation of Doomfist and claimed his gauntlet. The ideals Overwatch stood for and the vision Dr. Winston had for mankind aligned and Winston's respect for the organization and its members led him to see it as a new family. Unfortunately, even his newfound home succumbed to internal conflict and Overwatch fell. But Winston did not stop believing in the ideals of his father or Overwatches, despite the law forbidding him from acting. Making a home for himself in the old base of Watchpoint Gibraltar, Winston continued to develop new technology like his barrier projector while dreaming of the day Overwatch would rise again. That day would come, years after Overwatch's disbanding, when a team sent by the talent organization led by Reaper assaulted Winston in his lab. After successfully fighting back the intruders, Winston initiated the recall, calling all willing Overwatch agents back into duty. With the introduction of Sombra to the Overwatch cast, it may have been during this assault on the lab that she had an agent steal Winston's translocator technology. Based on data mined voice line interactions between Sombra and Tracer, it is heavily implied the hacker's teleportation tech was never hers to begin with. Don't think I don't recognize that device of yours. I know you stole it. What can I say? A girl just has to have the latest tech. Sometimes I feel a little sick after using my translocator. I'm sure you know what I mean, Tracer. Won't be a problem if you just disappear forever. There's still more to Winston's story to be explored. What's going on on the moon with the other gorillas? What are the consequences of his rebooting Overwatch against the laws of the United Nations? Let us know what you think and even ask a few questions of your own below. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. As always, subscribe to Action Esports.